I think we might see Meg Hutchins do that quite a bit throughout this game. Who Here's Garner for the opening goal. And there's a piece of history for Jazzy Garner. Jazz Garner, key forward for us. Came across from Collingwood, where she played forward and back. But I think we'll probably play her predominantly up forward. Elite hands, really good on a lead. And for her size, she's very good below her knees to pick the ball up as well. Those attributes will see her um, have a big impact to our forward line. The check side kick towards goal for the perfect start for Collingwood and Olympic Park Oval. Jazz played um, football state level under 18s and then St Kilda Sharks in the VFL. Came through there and then onto Collingwood yeah, and then Williamstown and then onto North Melbourne. Really enjoying her footy at Williamstown, which is really important for the girls, which was a big thing for us not to just say that they all had to come back and play with Melbourne Uni. Uh, we wanted them to enjoy their football, develop a little bit, but mainly just get their, their heads right and have a bit of fun with footy so that when they hit the summer, they're ready to impact um, in a bit more professional sense. Opening kick for Jasmine Garner is another goal. History repeats itself. Jasmine. In year one of the AFLW kicked the first goal of the season and she did this exactly the same thing in year two. But it's those, it's those attributes similar to a Sophie Abitangelo where they just have such a balanced mindset that their competitive abilities, or I suppose their mindset don't get in the way of those competitive abilities. They, they just maintain that standard and that's really big when you're, when you're playing in front of a big crowd and you've got television cameras around you and everything like that, you're still able to impact and I like that balance that she brings. Handball, Christina Bernardi sets up Jazzy Gardner, who had a hand in a couple in the first quarter.